All right, so using my open ATV device, uh, which is this thing here, it's like for my Z Gamma H7, but I imagine if you're using an open ATV uh, Enigma type satellite receiver. Now I like to stream some of my um, uh, videos to either this laptop or to uh, uh, a tablet or my phone, you know, and I can walk around and sometimes there's a, there's radio on uh, satellite and I can listen to it in, in, throughout my home. And you can do this with TV as well. Um, there's TV channels and all that kind of stuff. The three programs I found that worked. Now, I used to always use VLC. It's default in Linux Mint. And also, I believe it has mPlayer. But I always liked VLC better. But I'm starting to use this program here a lot more um, about SM player and uh, this is a program that uh, is um, some of the streams are just like it doesn't load on VLC so what happens is I run it in this SM player program and it does work maybe just VLC I don't have a codec plugin that this thing just by default has um, to make either like the audio work and i found that with some of the channels that i like to watch on 101 west decades and me tv and even the pbs channels uh, oh yeah and they have a different audio type um output that they have so it could be part of partly that so yeah i found this program was running at sm player and i think i was able to get in this program here which is another free program called mpv but it does it doesn't have as much um as much uh, features as as this M, uh, SM player. Now, one thing I found with this, I'm just going to close this here, is an SM player. It has a de interlace, and it's not on right now. But I think you can go into your def your options here. I believe preferences. So you go in your preferences because one thing I've noticed is um, it would always have the um, video um, not de-interlaced. So I'm just going to see if I can fix that now somewhere in here. Because like, you get the blur on my com on the computer screen when you're uh, when I was watching uh, TV and radio. De-interlace. Uh, check for your channels on startup. Yeah, so I have this. Okay, that's not a problem. I have it on a de-interlace filter. At least this program did. On my other computer, I had to just go select that and apply. And it would uh, de-interlace the video all the time. So it would get rid of that blur effect that you can get sometimes when you're watching an interlace video. Which interlace would be like an older type sh uh, show. Um, tends to be interla interlaced. Where um, a lot of the newer stuff, if you're watching in high definition, it's progressive scan. So it has that P next to it, and usually with the computer screen, it won't have that blur effect. So that's good. So yeah, this program is, um, I think I'm going to start using this more than VLC. I don't know if there's a Android version. I'm going to look around to see if there's an Android version of this. Because it seems to work really well in Linux, and it does, like, I could stream uh, my TV shows to a computer. and uh, And then uh get it that way so that that works out great so yeah i just go here uh here's my uh signal quality settings here on the z gamma i'm gonna go to so i go here to television and for radio stations i created a favorites uh list here so i can go through the radio stations now for television i have a favorites list too where i just have uh um tv decades and movies me tv now um, Anthony, uh, a group Galaxy uh, Gaming, asked me about what's a Me TV alternative because he saw that on there, and I, I don't, I don't think we'll get in trouble for putting this thing up because it's just going to show the logo, and I'll have to make sure the audio is off. It's not going to do that. Oh yeah, I need to zap it. Okay, so go here, click on that, and it's going to zap. You first click on it because you got to make the receiver zap to Me TV alternative. And it's going to open. Now I have it set here, so open with SM Player by default. 
Now, if you need to change your program, you just go here, other, and you select, you just go and select your other programs and it will change the default for it. So I'm gonna turn the audio down on this deal. Mute. <laughs> there. Okay. So I just uh, dropped it down. And it just has that MeTV logo with like the song uh, that's on there. And so that's what it is. It's just MeTV alternative. That's what's on satellite. Um, so what they'll do is if there's certain programs on at certain times, uh, like instead of what they used to do, and I don't think they're doing it anymore, but I'll just use it as an example. They'd have I Love Lucy on the main feed, but then some areas didn't have the rights to I Love Lucy. So they would have like the Lucy show or something like that. Um, so that's how like, and that's how things work a lot on satellite. There'll be alternative channels um, that uh, that will uh, have have the feed. So I named that right now. I named that uh, one hundred one West, so I can get all these channels, and you just do a click to zap, and then you stream it to your computer, and then essentially you can have your computer as your device. Like I can stream my local over the air uh, CKWS. Um, so if I want to watch the news on my laptop and not hook up a stick, but stream it, the only problem, this channel here is such a high bit rate. Um, it won't work. So all you do is you just click on this box up here where this, uh, it was a stream CKWS to your device. You click on that and it'll, this will pop up. This is how it does it in Linux. Um, and if you don't have Linux on your computer, <laughs> get Linux on your computer. It's free. And also, if you have an old computer, get Linux on your computer, especially Linux Mint. I like Linux Mint. Now, if you want all that, like, Apple looking like crap stuff at the bottom, uh, you can get um, Elementary OS, uh, and it will have that look to it. I just tried Elementary, and some of the video programs I couldn't install on it, and uh, so I wasn't impressed with Elementary. But that there's – so Linux is, like, there's so many different types of – of Linux that are out there that you can try. So here's what's on TV here. It's the view. I mean, here, I can even shrink it, shrink it to that size. So that's it streaming um, there. It has no DRA. So, so the program came on and it didn't have a de interlace filter. So if you have that blur effect, because this actually is a uh, interlaced uh, channel. So yeah, I don't know, you just pick something, I just pick that, and then the interlace should go away. So that's how you stream with a Z Gamma box. I kind of went through that in one of my other videos, but I was I hadn't emphasized how much um, SM player is better than VLC. And I just finding it works for the the audio just works through that a lot better. Maybe there's a plugin I can get for VLC, but I guess I just ch on my computers I'm gonna do that with. The easiest thing I found is just just use SM player, and it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. So yeah, so please give this video uh, a like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, there's my there's the channels I watch. You can see that right there. This is what I watch like usually on my satellite setup. I have CKWS and CNC World, and I just kind of go through that. Now the reason, only reason why I don't have all my antenna channels. Um, here, I'll show you here what I have scanned in. Oh, it's not going to do that. <clears throat> that's another thing that's kind of weird about this uh, setup is I can't see my terrestrial channels, but I, I like my uh, ATSC channels, but I could create a playlist. Like, I'll just use this as an example. This is the satellite that I have. The dish I have aimed over at 125 West with all the PBS channels. So I just created a favorites list with all that. And then when I go into my remote, I can just scan through the channels. And sometimes these ones are not broadcasting. But I can kind of, uh, it's a quick reference to them instead of having to go through the thousands of channels that are scanned in. Just create a favorites list that uh, that are the channels that you regularly watch. I usually go to PBS and then I go to this one here with all the uh, satellite channels that I tend to that I tend to watch. Yeah. And then, and I don't have to move the motor to it. Like I'd have to move the motor to get this. Cause these are all 99 West. And then these are, I have a fixed KU band dish 
that just gets my Galaxy 19 channels that I watch. Yeah, there's really not as much as there used to be on Galaxy 19. Like, here's um, out of my favorites are CNC and RT, but I don't mind because like, there's Russia. Actually, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do have Press TV in there. There's Press TV, and uh, I never really watched the University Network anymore, but I used to love watching Pastor Scott. Um, just, you know, smoking a cigar. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, yelling, barking orders at his production crew. Point that camera here. Like that, that was awesome. TBN was, you, one thing I saw on TBN the other night, I, I woke up in the middle of the night and there was Colonel Sanders on like, from like the seventies. You could, you should YouTube that. Uh, there's this interview of Colonel Sanders uh, when he came on TBN and it's just kind of cool. Cause he's such an iconic a uh, person, you know, you, you, with Kentucky Fried Chicken, and his story is always an interesting story with uh, Colonel Sanders. He um, had so many businesses that failed before he came up with the idea of pressure cooking the fried chicken. So, anyway, check out Colonel Sanders, interesting uh, individual that I was that I've been watching videos on interviews with that are from way back in the day. Yeah, of course, there's Smile of a Child. Uh, I made a whole video just for that channel because I love Smile of a Child. Uh, there's QVC, there's CNC World, um, and RT, and I tend to watch CNC, I go to CNC World for the Economy Report uh, show, and um, usually I'll have that on during the day. RT America, uh, they have the show uh, Boom Bust, uh, I, uh, I'll check that, that out from time to time. Please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. So yeah, SM Player. Uh, definitely give that this program a check out. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free to air satellite reception.